Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. This is the companion YouTube channel to www.texasflycaster.com where you can go to find highly detailed information about fly fishing in Texas. Hi guys, and welcome to the Texas Fly Fishing Report for Cinco de Mayo 2016. Today I'm reporting to you off the now officially carp skiff on Lake Ray Roberts, and I've caught a couple of carp today. It's a good time to book a trip with me if you're thinking about uh, sticking your foot in the water when it comes to fly fishing for carp. It's a great time. It's going to be a great year. I'm telling you right now, this is this is shaping up to be an epic year. Anyway, there's a lot going on here in North Texas. As you saw at the beginning, I was also over at Possum Kingdom Dam about a week and a half ago. Very beautiful footage, I thought, right there at the beginning, so I just had to find a place to put it. And at the very end of, the, of this particular Cinco de Mayo report, there will be a couple of, uh, maybe one, maybe two pieces of fish porn dropped in there just for good measure. Anyway, if you're in Texas and a fly fisher, Fisherwoman, whatever, fisher whatever these days. <laughs> uh, be sure and get out to your, your local waters because it's a pretty good time to get out. You know, my specialty is lakes, and uh, I'm, you know, the lakes are my thing for fly fishing for carp, but even the, the rivers are, are pretty active right now. You know, we've got a situation where the, the uh, local at least here in North Texas, the local lakes are on and off as far as releasing water. Texoma's releasing great guns, Possum Kingdom Lake is releasing great guns, and then here at Ray Roberts they're not releasing any water. It's virtually shut in, and I think that's because they're trying to take some of the pressure off downstream towards Houston, and I think that, um, you know, there's plenty of pressure on the dam which has got a crack in it or something wrong with it at Louisville Lake. So that's, that's something that they're probably trying to uh, to uh, prevent from worsening and that means really good fishing here on Lake Ray Roberts because what happened is the water level from from well, the big releases they had it went down and then those releases uh, stopped and the, the rain some more and the lake went back up so we've got plenty of carp in the habitat like I said I've caught a couple today already and it's just a fantastic time on Lake Ray Roberts you have to really pay attention to your local lakes and everything else that's going on there to really know um, what your chances are for fly fishing on your lakes. The rivers, I was on the Guadalupe River way downstream of Seguin uh, about 10 days ago and that water was murky muddy and a lot of the rivers are that way in Texas right now because we're still, we've got the releases, we've got rains and rains of biblical proportions in some places like Houston. So it's, a, it's really an interesting um, and difficult time to, to actually do a report for the entire state. It's just so varied. Um, it's a perfect bluebird day here in North Texas, and uh, there's no telling what's going on elsewhere, really. I'm pretty sure that the whole state is sunny right now, but uh, it seems like it rains every day in Houston no matter what. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. We'll be sure and watch the end of the video. I'm going to drop one or two pieces of... Uh, fly fishing porn in there for your for your viewing pleasure and uh, have a great weekend and happy Mother's Day to the mothers out there and we'll see you on a more regular basis now for the Texas Fly Fishing Report. My voice is obviously getting better. I'm not having to drink water all the time and um, the fishing is getting better. So the two things are kind of coming on at the same time and we're looking forward to a great spring. Be sure you contact me at fly at texasflycaster.com by email if you have any questions. And go to www.texasflycaster.com if, uh, if you, uh, you know, need more information because this is just a supplementary uh, YouTube channel. Most of my information is in writing on uh, Texas Flycaster. And there are, uh, you know, hundreds of articles, thousands of articles, probably a hundred just on carp fishing alone. So get on that site, hit those imp those uh, boxes on the side that, that search the site and I'm sure you can find whatever you're looking for. And if not, contact me. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next week.
Thanks for watching this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. Thanks also goes out to the sponsors. If you need more information, be sure to visit www.texasflycaster.com. And if you have any information about fly fishing in Texas, feel free to share it, and we'll be glad to get it on the report.